be nice if you could say, I make her down a millionaire. Well, here's how to get there. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you some different scenarios that would make you a Cardano millionaire. Now keep in mind, these are all speculations. I don't have a crystal ball that tells me the future, although that would be nice. So take this with a grain of salt. This is no financial advice. Cardano is my favorite cryptocurrency and the one that I'm most bullish about right now. And there are a couple of reasons for that. The main reasons are number one, we're still super early. Smart contracts are just about to launch and to come out in probably September of this year. So it hasn't even fully launched yet. If you see the price action that it had already, just imagine what potential will be unleashed once smart contracts will be finally launched. The second reason, it aims to be super scalable. So Kadana aims to process about a million to two million transactions per second, which is far, far more than anything else we've seen before. Visa has a capacity of about 65,000 transactions per second, and that's really the stretch maximum uh, capability. And Ethereum and Bitcoin have far, far, far less. And the third main reason is it's the number one green coin, which means it uses only a fraction of the energy that is used for Bitcoin or even for Ethereum at the moment. There are a couple of other reasons. If you want to learn more about Cardano in general, make sure to check out this other video linked on top of my head that goes more in depth. Okay, so in my 1K investing video, I went over a couple of price predictions for this bull market, or if it doesn't happen in this bull market, then it will certainly happen in the next couple of years. So we'll look at those again today, and then we'll go over some calculations so that you can see how many Cardano you would need to become a Cardano millionaire in the long run. Okay, so I have three main price predictions for this bull run. Number one, conservative is $10. Number two, realistic is $30. $13 and number number three very optimistic is $26 all right let's look at the price right now so right now Cardano is sitting about 153 154 with a current market cap of 49 billion now let me show you how I get to those price predictions so how I'm calculating that I'll first have to show you Bitcoin is I look at the fact that history usually repeats itself. And if we look at the past cycles, Bitcoin usually did a 10 to 20 X from the last all time high to the next all time high. So for instance, if we go back, so if we look at the last, the one before the last bull run in 2013, the all time high was at about a thousand dollars. And then the last all time high before this current bull run was at almost $20,000. So coin market cap isn't always super accurate with the all time high. So let's quickly look at trading view. And here you can see the all time high in 2017 or the end of 2017 was at almost $20,000. So the difference between those all time highs are about a 20 X. Now Cardano has only exist, existed since 2017. So we don't have that much history to look at or that much data to look at. So what we can just do is to basically copy Bitcoin's history and estimate or guess that this will happen for Cardano as well. So the last all time high, again, we'll look at it on trading view because this is more accurate. Okay. So here you can see the last all time high has been at around $1.30. So here it says a bit lower, but it's $1.30. So here's how I get to, to those price predictions. $10 wouldn't even be a 10 X from the last all time high. This is why I think it's rather conservative. Plus at $10, the market cap would be at around $320 billion. So that would overtake Ethereum if it stayed at the same market cap and the same price as it is right now, but that won't happen. If the bull run continues, which I still think it will, I could be wrong, but if it continues, the whole market will grow and Ethereum will grow as well and will likely do a couple X as well. So let's say Cardano, let's say Ethereum also does like a four or five X, something like that. Then Cardano would still have a much smaller market cap than that. So this is why I think this is on the conservative side. Now, $1.30 to $13, that would be a 10 X. So I think this is realistic. This still would be far less than the 20 X we've seen from 
we've seen with Bitcoin between the uh, the last two all-time highs. So a 10x, I could totally see that. Plus the market cap for Cardano would be at around 415 billion if it went to $13. Again, we see the th same thing. It would be at number two right now, but if the whole market does a, I could see at least a 4x from here because then Bitcoin would be at $120,000. So that would be far less than a 20x that it wouldn't even be a 10x from the last all time high. In my opinion, this is realistic and that would uh, that would just shoot the whole market up and then that market cap would look relatively small in comparison to the top ones right now. Now my very optimistic scenario, which I don't think will happen in this bull run, but definitely will in the long run, and that would be Cardano $26. And how I get there is if we look at the last all time high of 130 more or less, a 20x from there would be $26. So that's if we think, okay, it's gonna happen the exact same way as it did with Bitcoin, the other two cycles, and it will do a 20x between the all time highs, that would get us to $26. With that price, we would be at a market cap of around 830 billion. So that would mean it would be number one if all the market caps stayed the same as they do right now. Again, I don't think this will happen. I think the whole market will move up. And then again, even, I could totally see Cardano becoming number two at some point, but if the whole market does a 4x or even more, that will probably, that won't even be, so a 4x, that would make Ethereum about a 1 trillion, so it would still, it wouldn't even be number two. We'll have to see, maybe not this bull run, but certainly at some point. All right, now let's calculate how much Cardano you need to become a millionaire with those scenarios. All right, we'll start with the $10. So you want to have a million dollars and let's say it goes to $10. So that means you would need 100,000 Cardanos. Depending on what price you picked it up, this wasn't even that huge of an investment if you started investing at $3, at three cents where it was during the last bear market, that wasn't even that much. If you want to buy it now, yes, it would be a bit more money, but it would still probably be better to pick it up right now in the dip than when it was at 240. All right, now let's look at the next one. So you want to have $1 million and we think it goes to $13. So that's the realistic scenario. In that case, you would need less Cardano. So you would need almost 77,000 Cardano. So that, that's already much less. Now let's look at my very optimistic scenario and that is with $26. So 1 million divided by 26. Okay, so that's much, much less. So that would only, so in that case, you would only need about 38,461 Cardano. Now, again, this isn't my realistic scenario. So if you really, really want to become a Cardano millionaire, it would probably be worth picking up a bit more than that. Again, no financial advice, do your own research on that as well. Okay, now I have one last price prediction for you, and that is if Cardano goes to $100. So this is what the Cardano community is has as a target, as a long-term target. The community thinks that this is where Cardano will go in the long-term, and I actually agree. However, I don't know in which, in which time period this will be. So if we think Cardano will be like an infrastructure, infrastructure cryptocurrency, there will be dApps and smart contracts on top and people won't even realize that they're actually using Cardano as the sub layer. If that happens and if Cardano is used on a very regular basis, I could totally see this go up to numbers around $100. In that case, the market cap would go to about 3 trillion. So right now you can see the total market cap of, of all the cryptocurrencies is at about 1 and 1.5 trillion. So this would mean that Cardano would be twice the whole market cap size of the whole cryptocurrency market. Definitely won't happen this year, but in the very long run, maybe in the next five to 10 years, could happen. So let's again take out our calculator and see how much you would need in that case. So again, you want to have a million dollars and then we divide it by 100. So in that case, you would only need 10,000 Cardano. 
So if you are a super long, long, long term hodler and you want to keep this for 10 years to come, then you might even become a Cardano millionaire with 10,000 Cardano. Now, the cool thing is that you can also stake your Cardano and earn an extra 5% per year. So that's 5% interest without you doing any work at all. So you can see this calculator in here. And that actually, actually calculates with a little less, so that calculates with rewards over about 4.6%. I've been staking Cardano for probably nine months now, and it's always been at around 5%, so that's the average. So as you can see, if you, if you had 10,000 Cardano, so that was with the super, super long-term prediction, if Cardano goes to $100, then you would become a Cardano millionaire as well. So let's just say you have 10,000 Cardano right now and you stake it, then you get an extra 5% per year, so an extra about 500 Cardano per year. And after five years, you would already be at 12,500 Cardano. And if it goes to $100, that's quite a significant difference. So even if you don't have huge, huge bags of Cardano right now, if you stake it, that will uh, will compound. So it will even be a bit more than 12,500. It will compound and it will become more and more and grow by itself. Okay, so now you know how many Cardano you need to become a Cardano millionaire with the different scenarios. Let me know in the comments which scenario you think is the most likely to happen in the, in the short term, but also mid to long term. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.